I mean, I think for anyone who lives here in Colorado, we think of ourselves as living in a very green state. But that isn't technically the case, at least according to one new report. It's taking a look into the reality of recycling in Colorado. We could do much better. Denver 7's Claire Lavasorio is breaking down the changes coming in the new year that could help our state become a greener place. Each day, Coloradans end up throwing away more than five pounds of waste per person. The hope is outlawing styrofoam containers like this one and plastic bags will change that. With the new year right around the corner, Colorado restaurants can say goodbye to styrofoam to go containers. In January 2024, they will need to say hello to a more sustainable option. We knew this transition was coming at some point. It was not sustainable for us to continue carrying styrofoam um, across the board. With nearly three quarters of their orders placed for pickup, Chook Chicken is one Denver spot ahead of the curve. We are a certified B Corporation, which really at the root of it just means that we value people and planet as much as we value profit. That's why CEO Elizabeth Nicholson says the restaurant has rolled out Deliver Zero, a container that costs those visiting the restaurant 99 cents. Customers can return it and it could be reused up to 1,000 times. They say it's more environmentally friendly than compostable and what Nicholson believes more restaurants need to move to, especially in light of a new report released by Ecosystem and the Colorado Public Interest Research Group, showing the stark reality of recycling rates in the state. It found Colorado produces 7 million tons of solid waste each year. 84% of the waste we produce goes right into our landfills. And that's one of the worst in the country. I mean, we have one of the worst recycling and composting rates in the whole country. But environmentally friendly changes are coming. Starting January 1st, Colorado restaurants will no longer be allowed to use styrofoam containers or cups. Like any law, there are exemptions, including if the takeout container was already in the retail food establishment inventory prior to the new year. We need to make those incremental changes so that we're not doing more harm um, than good. Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. Now, if businesses don't comply with the styrofoam ban, they could eventually face a fine $500 for a second violation and $1,000 for a third. And as we